You know, in the English language, there are many different clauses, independent clauses, dependent clauses. Hi, I'm Paige Carrera, and today we're going to talk about independent clauses. Pretty easy if you think about it. Independent clause is basically a clause that can stand on its own. A subject, a verb, doesn't even have to have an object, really, but that's pretty much what it is. We're taking a look at this example here. Anthony ate the whole pizza. As you can see, we've got a subject, Anthony, ate a verb, and the whole pizza is the object of our subject, which is what Anthony ate. Now that's an independent clause because it can stand on its own. An example of an independent clause is one that cannot stand on its own. And in this case, you'll find extra words in the sentence or things that just don't look right or make sense on their own. Sitting by itself, when Anthony ate the pizza, dot, 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 it's an unfinished thought. So that in itself gives you a clue that it's not right. It cannot stand on its own. There's no complete subject, uh, verb, and, and the object that gives this sentence the ability to stand on its own. That's a good way to remember it. Independent, strong independent can stand on its own. Even something as simple as do it is a complete independent clause. I'm Paige Carrera. Happy writing.